You're this perp back with another video and we are on episode 13 of Doom Patrol. We got two more episodes left. Getting really close to the end of the season. Man, it's been a amazing journey. Shout out to everybody that's been, you know, I mean tuning in. Uh hit that like button if you're new, hit that subscribe button. But with all that being said, let's get right to the review. So it starts off with, you know, them mentioning uh flex mentality that's been is a character that's been missing and hopefully he could probably help them find the chief so we get a little bit of backstory about flex mentality that he came from uh 1964 and he's kind of like the superman of that time um very very gullible person uh as you can tell because like the way that they captured uh the um the bureau uh, what was it the bureau of um normalcy how they were able to just ca capture him like that with the cat um I, I liked how they made fun of that how uh he had to go save a cat out of a tree that was pretty ironic and pretty funny um yeah show it shows how he got uh captured by the bureau bureau of normalcy speaking of which you know i think that was the little kid you know back then that's him now growing up which is pretty interesting now i think about it um cyborg still kind of messed up with his father he thought he was dead and come to find out that he survived um they show flex metallo you know able to escape uh and he comes in contact with the doom patrol and they're able to you know all of them are able to escape the ant farm you know by the help of jane um, so Flex Metallo is now with them. Hopefully, uh, they're, they're thinking that Flex Metallo could help them pretty much find the chief. He could be the, uh, missing key. Um, Jane teleports, you know, Cyborg and his father to the hospital, you know, um, I'll get to that in a little bit, but you know, we, got, uh, it, I think they're like with this little scene right here, I think they were teasing that, uh, Flex Metallo is probably going to join, you know, the doom patrol maybe next season i don't know but um you know we we also get a lot more backstory on larry's character that he also came in contact he was actually like you know where cyborg was held he was right next to uh next door to flex mental um and his powers is pretty fucking op it's like he's got super strength but he could also like mentally move things with his mind is it is really cool um very interesting dude um so we go back to the back to doom matter and they're asking him a question and uh for a second there I, I i started to believe him when he said that the chief had an evil twin that he was the evil twin of the real chief and whatnot but it came out come out to find out it come to find out it was he was talking about the show that he kept watching i forget the fuck the name of the show but um you know that was that was pretty funny um but back to the hospital with cyborg and uh where reed is at um trying to help cyborg and tell him tell cyborg yo you need to put grid back on you know because you know you know you messed up and even cyborg knows he messed up and i think this is the way they're going to exit his character from the doom patrol and he's probably going to join titans in season two um meanwhile you know jane and cliff are trying to trigger flex into you know uh tapping into its power so they get this idea uh then cliff cliff just gets like random ideas you know to distract him while he's watching his his favorite show and whatnot maybe that could trigger him um he punch he literally punches through this tv which was pretty hilarious because i would have been pissed i'm like bro i'm sitting here watching it and you're uh you're sitting there just i don't know that that that, that shit to me was pretty cool um also talking about character development i really like that we get more of rita you know we get more of rita's backstory 
she's just become such a likable character throughout this whole series um but i'll get to back to that because she was talking to some old dude but i'll get, I'll get back to that very shortly um back to doom manor they're watching you know flex's show they see that cliff was on one of the episodes uh back in the day whatnot which was pretty funny um and you know uh jane and cliff had this little back and forth because uh cliff sees that jane's kind of uh not herself and uh and he apologizes for you know getting inside her head and whatnot and you know I think Jane is starting to come around to Cliff, you know. I really like that. I, I, I always like their chemistry. Um, but Larry comes in and lets them know, like, how they could possibly trigger him to get his powers back. They, he mentions his old girlfriend, uh, Dolores, and whatnot. The one that captured, like, Cyborg and, and uh, was working for the ant farm. And Jane was able to get uh, teleport her to the manor and whatnot and they have this really emotional you know reunion and it's just like it's it's really sad and it's like at what cost and she says while they're having this moment she says like um she starts to disappear it looked like some like infinity war shit like how she uh people got dusted um and that pretty much worked that triggered him he's able to tap into his powers because um but now but now it's just like is he going to join the doom patrol is he going to help them fight mr nobody um speaking of mr nobody this old guy that rita was talking to was mr nobody the whole time and i really love love mr nobody how he just he just it's so subtle you never really know when he pops up but when he pops up it's just like damn it's such a surprise so pretty much um back at the manor larry almost dies because he's been disconnected from the spirit for so long and he, he kind of tells the spirit you know he wants to kind of die and the spirit actually even has his personality of itself and couldn't come to grips for it, just letting larry just die there and they reconnect so the doom patrol is you know they're together they're finally together i think they finally can get their they they've gotten their bullshit uh behind them and they're able to find niles now got two more episodes left and i love how this ended with mr nobody watching them watching uh, uh with the doom patrol mug hat and shirt and stuff it, it was dope man and how how he was narrating this at the end to really let you know like these last two episodes are going to be pretty damn fire I cannot wait. Uh, what do you guys think about this episode? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But until the next video, I'll check y'all out. We got two more episodes left, man. <laughs> I'll check y'all out later. Peace. Everything I did failed, which it doesn't. It actually succeeds. But if everything I did uh, failed, just the fact that I'm willing to fail is an inspiration people are so scared to lose that they don't even try like one thing that people can't say is they can't say i'm not trying i'm not trying my hardest and i'm not trying to do it the best way that i know how